Xerxes sat up on that hill and watched the Battle of Salamis here. Thermistocles, right there, the memorial to him. There's Salamis. Okay, wait, from Athens? Athens? We drive all the way to Marathonas. Okay. From Marathonas, we drive through the mountains and then we take the highway up to Agios Costadinos. From Agios Costadinos, Kamena Vurla, and from Kamena Vurla to Thermopiles. From Thermopiles, we take the other highway back to Thiva. From Thiva to Plateas, somewhere here, mm -hmm. and then we take the mountain called Kitheronas, this road, wow. back to Corinthian Sea. This is a Corinthian Gulf, you see, mm -hmm. and from the Corinthian Gulf to Salamina. Nice. And from Salamina through Piraeus, back to Athens. What a great day! You see. All of these. Yes. All the um, Persian, Persian Greek battles. Yes. In Greece today. It is. Wonderful. I love Greece. Look it's at it. for you. Oh, thank you so much. It is beautiful. In the naval battle of Salmoneus, the Greek fleet defeated much larger Persian naval forces in the Straits. By 480, BC, the Persian king Xerxes and his army had overrun much of Greece and destroyed Athens. The Greek citizens fled to the island of Salmoneus, so Xerxes and his navy of about 800 galleys bottled up the smaller Greek fleet of about 370 ships near the island. The Greek commander Thermistocles lured the Persian fleet into the narrow waters of the straits where the massed Persian ships had difficulty maneuvering. The Greeks then attacked and sank about 300 Persian vessels while losing only 40 of their own. The Battle of Salmoneus was one of the first great naval battles in recorded history. Xerxes sat up on that hill and watched the Battle of Salamis here with hundreds and hundreds of ships, the Greeks against the Persians, and the Greeks won an astounding victory. And it was right here. Thermistocles was the admiral. Oh, okay, so he sat here? Yes. And the battle was here? Was here, yes was through here. So he had a front row seat. Yes. At the beginning they say it was a 1200 ships but the but the, the more the new information they say about 6 to 800. Okay. And the Greeks they have a 370 371 ones. Okay. That happened in September 28 of 29 of September 480 BC. And the two the Persians and the Greeks you know, face each other. They are facing each other. So this did yes. not happen long after Thermopylae and then they went no, to it Athens? Happen, yeah, it doesn't happen long. And then came here. Yeah, yeah. And then the next year... But... In the Xerxes, he was uh, positive because he's going to win. That's why he was sitting over there in the mountain named Egalus and he was looking, watching. He wants to enjoy it, you know, to look from a distance. He was sitting in the gold chair and... Uh, Look, the fight was very, very strong. Uh, until this afternoon, at the beginning, you know, the, the person was fight hard, but in a few hours later, the, the, the Greeks they win them. The person lost more than 200 ships, and the Greeks only 40. Nice. From the Greeks was Evridiades and Themistocles was the front and from the best sexes Artemisio and Arabignis. Arabignis. Aclabades? Yes, yes. So after this, Xerxes went back to Persia. Exactly. And he left that other general yes, in yes, charge yes. of the army, the army yes. at Plataea. Okay. 
So he still thought he might win. Yes. But yes. he left. He had enough. <laughs> yeah. And all through here. Yes. This is amazing. So he came from the Yes. He came from there. Okay. That's where they came. The um the Persian ships came from here. Yes, yes, yes. And the Greeks were here. The Greeks was here, yes. And so most of the battle was <laughs> yes, right yes. out. Yes. Yeah. Wow. You can see some navy. Navy seas. I saw them, yeah. Navy. Greek navy. So on Salamis, um you said all these people are going back and forth. Maybe they work here. They work here in Piraeus. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's very cheap island. I mean, everything is so cheap to buy yeah. a house there or to oh yeah or to do business. You know, very very <coughs> takes around to 25 minutes from here uh, with a ferry to, to and they run every half an hour. And just like everywhere, there's probably great beaches yes, and yes. Salamis. Wow. And all the Athenians were out right here. Yes. They fled to Salamis. Yes. 28, 29 of September, 480 so, BC. So if the Greeks would have lost, the Persians would have got all those people. Exactly. And yes. probably yes. enslaved them and yes. killed they a lot. Killed them. And That's amazing history. Yes. Amazing history day to day for me. And uh, it's nice. We can take a picture of the yeah of the Mr. Glyph. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, start again, please. Mr. Glyph. Yes. 459 BC, 425, 459 BC. He's born and he died. Yes. Now Salamis, Pharos, summer 480 BC. Greek Navy, Tridis, like the money. 16 mm -hmm. ships, Athenians, 100. Corinthians, 40. Oh, okay. From Halkida, 20. Sikino, 15. Epidavros, 20. So they knew that. But look, these guys sent one, but yes. better than nothing. Serifos, Sifnos, the island. Of what Tinos. island? Serifos Sifnos. Okay. Tinos. One. Wow. Kroti. Kithnos. Kithnos. One. Yeah. Styres. Two. Lefkada. Three. Hermione. Three. Naxos. They all banded together. Two. Yes. Trizonia. Five. Kia. Seven. Eretrias. Seven. Epidavros, Sikinos, 15, Halkida, 20, Megara, 20, Corinth, 40, a lot. Eh? Yeah, yeah. But Athens had the most. Yes. 180? Yes. Is this Athens? Athens, 180. Sparta, like the money, 16. Yeah, because Githio was the ancient port of Sparta. Yes. I tell it them every Viadis, yeah. Mistocles, Athens, Mistocles, every Viadis. I cannot read Alexi. I cannot read this name. 